Hi everybody, this is Tom and uh, thought we'd get a little bit of an update on our Jeep here. Still tearing it down. Don't know if you can tell or not, but we've gone a long way. Best thing to do is just take your time. Mark everything. You really can't get too much information when you're taking something apart like this. You can see I've marked everything with tape. Write, write what it is, put tape on it. Every plug. We're getting a firewall tore apart here. We only have a few items left on it. Now I was working up here on the dash. I wanted to show you guys. You see this set of screws right here. Now those, whoops, those were Phillips screws and I couldn't get them out. So what I did was I cut a slot in them with my, with my, uh, with my little uh, cutting, air cutting tool I use here. Well, there's the phone. Ah, gotta get it. Okay, guys. Sorry about that interruption. Okay. Let me get up here where we can see. I want to show you guys what I did here. All right. See that screw right there? I've already plowed a slot through it. It looked like this one right here. Okay. And. They're just a little too tight. I just can't quite get them with a good Phillips. Um, so what I did was cut a slot in them with my little grinder here. I was very careful. I don't want to nick all this up. Find my finger here. I don't want to nick all this up. You know, I'm going to use it. So when you take things apart, you know, sometimes you have to take your time and. Uh, you know which is my point here and be a little bit creative and try to figure out what to do now see I have one of, the, one of these little tools here Let me show you I have one of these okay and what that is is, is uh, when you push on it I don't know if you can see it or not but it's like a it's an, it's an impact thing and you push on it and see it spin and you can change it so if you smack that sucker with a hammer, you know, uh, it'll do a little twist and break your bolt loose. Now I was using a Phillips on it and trying to break out my screws loose, but I just couldn't get it. It would just keep popping out. So what I did was I put a deeper slot in it. You know, it's pretty deep. It's almost through. It's one of those little button head thin type screws and it's almost through on the sides here and um, so and this this will fit in it nicely and then I can pop it with a hammer and it's breaking them loose I get a little bit more bite with with the straight edge than I was the Phillips so they're coming out I just have one more to do that one right there and uh, we'll get the rest of this dash out of here but anyway, just my point was or is just take your time. You know, stop and think about it before you ruin all your screws. I mean, my screws are ruined. We're going to put new ones in it, but you know, you just get in a situation where it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And the next thing you know, you start to tear up your piece around it. And and that's not what you want to do. You know, you want to if you want to use the piece again. So, just a little helpful hint maybe uh, we're getting a dash tour out of it hopefully today um, you know I'll be done with tearing this crap out um, I got one more wire on the harness here which is this one here okay but it see it goes back to the transmission drops off on the off of the transmission and also 
uh, then it goes to the rear and feeds the tail lights and I would imagine the gas tank and everything else that needs electricity or you know whatever back here so um, we're probably gonna leave that one uh, just make sure that it's not connected to the body anywhere and then uh, we'll get the body off and then we'll we'll deal with that so um, I pretty much have everything I'm gonna take the brake booster off and and all that uh, we got this little doohickey here take that off um, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube here's another little tech tip um, you know I see a lot of people using torches and stuff um, to break bolts loose on old vehicles but this stuff here PB blaster nine times out of ten will get your bolt loose before you have to use a torch so then you don't have to heat up your 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 body or anything like that your sheet metal uh, you want to try to avoid using the torch if you can this stuff is great it'll just eat right through rust and a lot of times um, that's all you need so PB blaster um, so we're getting her tore down get closer and then we'll start going back you know I'm gonna clean this frame up uh, I'm not gonna sandblast it I got no way to the sandblaster I've never been satisfied with any of the sandblasters I've used around here one guy he does alright but you gotta talk to him for six hours before you can uh, get away from him I got no time for people like that you know I don't even know the guy and he wants to tell me his whole life story well you know go ahead that's fine Let, tell somebody else so and the other guy he just ain't very good I don't have a trailer anyway so I had to borrow one and I'm just gonna clean it up I'm just gonna scuff it up clean the surface rust off of it and paint it it'll look nice it'll be ready to go for another what 18 years this is a 93 so perhaps it might well yeah it'll be ready to go it won't be as it won't be better than new uh, all the materials on it the paint and stuff will probably be better than what they use in 93 but uh, anyway we got some issues right here this is part that I'm gonna spend most of my time on I think and you really can't see it I don't think but see how that that door opening there you can see the whole thing right there now if I move it right here you see how the front of it's rolled in for whatever reason the front is really rolled in right there I mean that's a bunch you can see we should be able to see you know where the door goes there when I do that so I'm gonna have to fix that uh, and the sheet metal is actually rolled over it looks like it's bent down the side but actually it's you know it looks bent in but it's rolled over because that door opening is pushed in for whatever reason let me see if I can show you the difference here from one side to the other okay here we go as you can see that's nice and straight we're looking at the door right here we're looking at the door opening look at the door opening and now we come around see how it lines up nice and straight it's nice and straight and you come over here and you can see the door opening disappearing it's not straight it's pushed in and that's why the door won't even come close to shutting on this vehicle so we're gonna have to fix that all right well just an update I wanted to get a little bit more video I used the video as I said before you know sometimes it aids me in putting stuff together but you know we're kinda getting down to nothing now so it's almost done keep working on it maybe the next video we'll have the dash out of it and very nearly ready to take the body off of it so 
There we go. Take it easy.